Hey everyone, Daniel Hiroshi here, and today we're going to discuss Mirai K, the 2007 slice of life comedy directed by Masahiko Ota. What? Again? I swear I picked these at random. The story follows the life adventures of three sisters, all at different stages of their youth. The anime is split into both home and school life. Both settings are nicely worked into the narrative, as one portrays the events that unfold while the other gives you the sisters' introspective. The interplay between them seems authentic, and it gives realness to their family dynamic. A good example is Kana and Chiaki, who constantly bicker each other, and the peacekeeper, Haruka, who balances the trio. The sisters experience a collection of life moments, ranging from washing the school floor to buying female outfits for male characters. Though, some scenes do feel unnecessary. Seriously, washing the classroom floor? Okay, I know it establishes Chiaki's superiority complex, but washing the floor? How mundane. Well, I guess it is real life. So, you have me there. Okay, here's the character roll call. You have the energetic Kana, the son's son, Chiaki, and Haruka, who is just Captain Mom. The traits you see in episode 1 are the same traits you see in episode 13. There is bugger all progression. Yes, it is real life, and thus, the mundane can be applied, but character traits can overlap, and they should develop. It's too rigid, and sometimes conflicts with the spoken dialogue. This is best shown with Haruka. Like I said, she is Captain Mom, and that is it. At one point, we are told she is lazy, but we barely see any confirmation of this. She wakes up, makes breakfast for all of them, goes to school, goes to prep class, comes home, and cooks. Lazy? Yeah, right. She never leaves the mum role, never pursues a romance, or even joins a club. When you pair this with the self-centered youngest sister, Chiaki, Miyake fails at the most important aspect of real life, character growth. You simply do not care enough about them. Take any of your favorite real life shows, put it on, and within a few seconds, you'll love the cast. The story hardly revolves around the sisters either, as the support characters, Toma, Makoto, and Osaka, often feel more like the true main characters as they evolve across the anime. Each of them have interesting themes, particularly throwing off the gender stereotypes in the case of Toma. The issue is that the depth is lost, because these are the support characters, and you know you have a problem when you are more interested in them than the sisters. The comedy though does its best to redeem this. I especially like the TV sequences that cut up the daily activity with some excellent black comedy about a high school student dating her teacher. It's great to listen to Chiaki complaining and analyzing every episode, a bit like a certain reviewer I know. There are a few well-timed innuendos by Kana and the support cast is larger than life, making the comedy all that more effective. But unfortunately, it's not enough to save the anime. To sum up, this should stay at the bottom of your to-watch list. It's a lot of fluff with not enough substance. Again, this has been Daniel Hiroshi and Pink Karumi Reviews. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe our videos. Thanks for listening.